This design is called blackberries. It's a, a, an almost a study of uh, blackberries in the autumn. It's made with um, organza and a few simple stitches, a little bit of stem stitch, a few French knots, but fabulous colours. And when you put, apply the layers of organza, you can create those purpley leaves or those bronze leaves uh, and make a really nice design. I'm just going to show you how to what you get in your kit and uh, how you can start. This is what you're going to get in your in your kit. You're going to get a collection, a fabulous collection of colours. Um, some of them are wool, some of them are stranded cotton, some of them are knitting yarns, but a fabulous array. The blackberries especially, you get fabulous colours in the thread and then the leaves, some of them are really quite autumnal. To create those leaves, you get the background fabric, and that's what the print on it, but you get a fabulous collection of organzas. So when you place different layers over the top of each colour, you'll get new colours appearing. So I'm just going to show you how to do that and how to actually do a little bit of the stitching. So this is my piece here. I've got to... It's, it's, it's really, once you've done one leaf, you can really experiment with the colours. You don't exactly have to do it uh, as per the instructions, but it'll give this will give you an idea. You take the organzas that you've got and you're just going to overlay some of the organzas over a complete leaf shape. And then you can take small, little small pieces of organza and just create new colours. So if I take one of these, a little bit of the pink here, you can just take a little slither of organza, you can fray it a little bit and you can overlay it on some of the veins and just have a go with overlaying the colours. Don't be too precise. Make sure that the organza goes over the, the complete leaf shape so as you start to stitch, when you trim the excess organza away, you'll get a nice uh, finish to the leaf. So I'm just going to take my thread So all that's, all that's actually holding uh, the organza in place is the stitching. So I'm, I've put my work in the 7 inch uh, hoop, so that's in the accessory part where you get the 5 inch and the 7 inch hoop. This, it, it's, a, it's a good size to work with, so I'm just going to turn my work around. So there's my leaf shape there, and I'm just going to work a little bit of the edging. So I'm just going to do almost... A back stitch so I'm just taking the stitches the length of the edge of the leaf and I'm just going to go round the edge obviously obviously in the instructions it, it just said ex the exact colors I've used but really any colors any combination of those colors on the card will work And then as you approach the edge of the leaf, then you can fasten off on the back. So I'll just take that, just wind a couple of threads around. And then once you've done that, you're ready to cut the excess away. Now some of the veins are done in stem stitch, which we, we have done. So that's a stitch that can actually curve. So that's why it's used on those veins. And then you're just going to cut away the excess. And if, you, if you're if unsure about that, just do a little bit at a time and you'll get the, get the idea. So the scissors I'm using are the ones that we have in our accessory pack. But it's a lovely design to work. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to work one of the blackberries. I've got three strands in my thread, in the needle there, and I'm just going to do small stitches over the top, filling in that little shape. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You can always go back. Don't worry about the, the stitching if it has to be absolutely perfect. So you're just going to go over that shape. And as you get to the other side, you're then going to take, you repeat the same thing and it'll raise the surface a little bit. 
it's called padded satin stitch but don't worry about the being perfect so once you get to one side then you're just going to go over the shape again and that will just give you a really nice shape and there's lots of colors so you, you know when you look at them in when they're growing they're fabulous purples and then the print around the edge you'll just work a little bit of a straight stitch to close the shapes in and that's how you do one of the blackberries